Alright, time for the worst Batman games ever made. These I just kind of randomly came across. This one is uh, Batman Revenge of the Joker for the Genesis. And all I gotta say is right off, how does this resemble a Batman game or Batman at all? Okay, if I remember right, Batman was a martial artist and he didn't rely on some gun, I guess it's supposed to be, you know, a battering launcher on his wrist. But I don't remember him relying solely on batterings or getting weird upgrades or, you know, destroying gargoyles for no apparent purpose. Um, same with these cardboard boxes. First of all, I'm going to say, even the display on this game, I don't quite understand. I'm guessing the L is for life. I have no idea what the B is supposed to be. And, um... This game, I don't know if... I can't remember if it gave any backstory or not, really. But, <clears throat> right off the bat, I gotta say, this is horrible. I mean, look at this. It's bad enough that Batman controls so horribly that, as you guys probably saw earlier, trying to dodge those uh, pillars that dropped, or the chains that dropped, it's impossible because even when they hit your cape, you take the hit. And I mean, uh, I mean, you can't throw a punch, you can't kick, all you can do is shoot. In this part, I don't even know what the hell you're supposed to do here. I mean, you do this and you die. So, I have no idea what the hell's going on there. Yeah, that was my first time playing through that particular stage. Alright, here, let's try this one more time. Alright. Shooting at the crate. Um, shooting those little upgrades, change what you get. I can't really tell what they are. I think it's like normal, spread, and bomb or something. But look at this. I mean, you have to be dead on perfect. If it touches your cape, you get hit. Alright. Here, see, I didn't even know these could kill you. Why can they hurt you? I mean... Is Batman a six-year-old kid who, like, you know, cuts himself on the sharp edge of a statue? What the hell? That and these platforming sequences really aren't as easy as you might think. Why? Because Batman jumps like a retarded monkey. Um, yeah. And a lot of this stuff where you're jumping up and down, jump, dodge, jump, jump, dodge. I'll tell you guys right now, I don't get past this level. Um, and I gave up on this game completely shortly after completing this video. Because this is not Batman. Why the hell would they make this game? Or at least even any kind of side-scrolling shooter when it's Batman, for God's sakes. I mean, if anything, shouldn't it be a side-scrolling brawler? Like some of the other Batman games? Or, you know, one of the best Batman games I think ever made was the original Batman period for the uh, NES. But I don't remember that game much. Alright, anyway, enough of this. Could it get worse? Well, I'm gonna say yes. You know how I mentioned it should be a side-scrolling brawler? Well, here it is. But incredibly more horrible. This is Batman Forever for both the SNES and the Genesis. Now, if the digitized characters don't clue you into how bad this game is, <laughs> get ready cause it gets a lot worse. First this little briefing I guess it would be. Um, Source, Arkham Asylum. Two-Face has staged a breakout from Arkham. Has freed inmates to cover his escape. Backup needed immediately. To subdue inmate riot and restore order. Yeah. And this is what gets me here. This is an SNES game with a load time? Alright. 
Now, if you can't tell just by looking at this, this is going to be horrible. This is what you do. That's all you do. He has a little kick that, you know, I don't know, may hurt someone's shin or something. High kick, low kick, high punch, low punch. That's about it. Oh, and you can do an uppercut. Um, see there, did an uppercut. Um, aside from that, you got like little special Street Fighter moves or something where you throw batterings. Here we go, another load time for some reason. Which, the moves to even throw a, a battering or a grenade are very difficult to pull off, even to use your grappling hook. I mean, just look at this. It looks so horrible. I mean, I guess they were trying to rip off Mortal Kombat or something, but... God damn. Alright, here to get up here, you have to hit select, then up. And hopefully, time it right so you get this thing to work. Which I'm having trouble doing, as you can see here. This guy busts through just as I do it. Guess what? I am now trapped. Because unless I get back down there somehow and kill that guy, I can't complete the game. Oh, check this part out. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, Moonwalking Batman. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Why did Acclaim do this to Batman? You know, one of the few good DC heroes out there. And, oh, I don't know. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm now trapped up here. Because I try everything and I cannot figure out either how to get out of this room or get back down there so I can kill that guy and continue on. And I'm starting to think there's no way to do it. Punch the wall, kick the door, no, nothing works. Go down here, try the reverse of what I did to get up here, doesn't work. So I'm effectively trapped and need to restart the level to kill that guy that you know takes three, four hits and looks like a horribly deformed digitized form of Kano or something. Anyway. Thanks for watching the worst Batman videos ever, games ever, and here's hoping I don't have to make a follow-up video.